planet Earth, our home. The home that we're still learning so much about. As a matter of fact, we barely know anything about it, specifically about things happening on the inside. As a matter of fact, we know so little about the inside of our planet that every single year we seem to discover something new, something incredible. With some of the recent discoveries from the last few months being in regards to what's known as the large low shear velocity provinces, the very large blobs you see right there in the center of the planet. But now the scientists have discovered something else, something even more unusual. Something that was more or less theoretical up until now. It looks like our planet, somewhere inside it, has these unusual magnetic field waves that seem to be really powerful and seem to propagate through the planet relatively fast. The waves that could, in theory, explain some of the unusual anomalies we're observing in regards to the magnetic field of planet Earth. Hello, wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about this recent study that just came out and essentially discuss what all of this means and, of course, how all of this was discovered as well. And the how part here is really important because, well, it's really due to these advances in technology and various detectors on the planet and even above the planet that we're now able to see inside planet Earth and analyze various structures that were previously invisible to us. Now, when it comes to things like these blobs you see, usually all of this is detected through the seismology. Or to be more exact, by detecting different waves coming from, for example, an earthquake and by measuring the speed of various waves as they pass through different regions of the planet, it becomes possible to literally scan the internal part and discover some unusual anomalies on the inside because the speed here does change depending on the location. But now we also have several satellites orbiting around the planet that are sensitive enough to detect some other features that were previously invisible to a lot of detectors on the planet. And one such mission is the ESA's swarm. It's essentially three different satellites, I guess it's a very small swarm, whose main mission for the past three years was a very high precision and high resolution measurement of the strength, direction and variation of the Earth's magnetic field. Or in other words, as they orbit the planet, they provide very precise measurements of various changes in the magnetic lines of the planet. And then using this data to study not just the magnetosphere and the ionosphere, but also the oceans, the Earth's core dynamics, and even various types of magnetic anomalies on the surface of the planet. As well as what effects all this has on the upper atmosphere of planet Earth. And in the last nine years of operation, these satellites have already made quite a lot of interesting discoveries. For example, an unusual feature present in the outer core of the planet, a strange jet stream that seems to be responsible for rapidly moving a lot of liquid iron inside the planet, with the speed of the jet being approximately 50 kilometers per year. The satellites were also responsible for finally confirming the unusual aurora-like phenomenon known as Steve that we're still trying to understand even today. It was only discovered a few years ago. But more importantly, a couple of years ago, the satellites were able to confirm that there is an unusual anomaly somewhere in the South American region where the magnetic field seems to be weakening over time. Now, it's still not clear why this is happening, but this recent discovery might be able to provide some answers. And so this mission is actually really important, especially because the magnetic field is crucial to the survival of life on planet Earth. And so obviously understanding the function of the magnetic field, how it sort of changes over time, and how all of these anomalies form is very important as well. But this new multi-year analysis identified something entirely new. Something that we've never seen before and something that was very theoretical and never thought to be so extreme. So it looks like there is a very unusual magnetic wave that seems to move right above the planet's core and takes approximately 7 years to cover the planet once, with the wave being formed by the lines extremely close to the core itself. But what I guess what's really interesting is the fact that the scientists always assumed that if these waves were real, they would most likely be much much weaker and very likely move extremely slow. But when the scientists combined the data of the Swarm satellite with the German CHAMP mission and the Danish Orsted mission, while also using some of the geodynamo computer models, they discovered that the magnetic field is definitely not static. It moves around, it changes shape and size, and it has a lot of features we still don't really understand. And as you can see from this graph, it actually took approximately two decades of observations to discover this unusual pattern. And so what we're seeing here is what the scientists refer to as the magneto Coriolis waves. These are huge, huge waves, very likely formed by the magnetic field as it moves around and shifts around very close to the core, with the waves being the strongest at the equator. Their amplitude or their height is estimated to be approximately 3 kilometers. 
and they seem to be moving westwards at a rate of about 1500 kilometers per year. But the scientists also mention that this is the first such wave discovered. They actually assume or theoretically predict that there are going to be other amplitudes and possibly even other waves, maybe even bigger and more profound in scale. So basically this was just the first discovery of these magneto Coriolis waves and the first confirmation of their existence. Now at the moment it's not entirely clear what produces these waves, but the scientists think that it's very likely due to a lot of disturbances on the inside and possibly due to various features inside the Earth's core and maybe even because of these unusual blobs you see in this video. But I guess more importantly, these waves could potentially explain some of the anomalies we're observing on the planet, including of course the recently discovered South Atlantic anomaly. So a lot of these anomalies and a lot of the unusual observations from the surface very likely is influenced by the motion of these waves as they move around the planet. In other words, unlike some of the articles from 2020 that even suggested that the magnetic field of planet Earth might be actually flipping because of the detection of this anomaly, the reality is that it's probably produced by these waves and it's probably going to be shifting in the next few years. In other words, none of this is just as simple as things are about to flip. The mechanism behind these waves is much more complicated and the actual effects on our planet are still not truly understood. But because of this discovery, we now potentially have a new technique and a new way for us to measure things inside the planet. In the same way that the seismological waves allow us to measure the structures that you see here, these magnetic waves can now allow us to measure things inside the core or possibly even help us see things we couldn't see before. Specifically things on the boundary between the outer core and the mantle, and some of the things on the surface of the core as well. So these waves officially known as the Magneto Coriolis Eigenmodes, also known as MCE, are actually just the beginning of the exciting discoveries about the internal structure of our planet, which means that we're going to be hearing more about this in some of the future videos in the next few years. Which also means that you should probably subscribe because we'll be talking about this in the future. And this will also very likely lead to more explanations about how the magnetic field functions, how it changes over time, and very likely explain many anomalies we're seeing on the surface of our planet, but also surfaces of other objects in the solar system as well. Because it's very likely that many objects, including objects like Jupiter and Saturn, have these as well, and they're very likely much more powerful. So some of the anomalies could be formed because of these waves. But I guess for now that's pretty much all we know. We know they exist, we know they seem to be important, and we also know that they seem to be powerful and there could be a lot more waves that we haven't discovered just yet. And so once we learn something else about this new phenomenon, and once we know what else they're doing to our planet, I'll make sure to follow this up in another video. If you've enjoyed this, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye. Magneto Coriolis Eigenmodes. Magneto Coriolis Eigenmodes. Whoa, that is a pretty tough name to remember. I think they should come up with something easier.